So this is a quick introduction to using the software Notebook. Notebook is made by a company called Circus Ponies and is available uh, for I think about $20 uh, for a license. Um, it's only for Macs. Uh, that being said, if you're on a Mac, it's a very useful piece of software in terms of lesson planning. So one of the nice things about Notebook is it allows you to divide your notebook into several sections. So you can see I have sort of an admin section um, with things under it that I can then collapse if I don't want to take a look at that. I can have student logs um, uh, in terms of like if I meet with kids for projects or make phone calls, though I've largely moved to recording this in our online grading system. And then for each lesson you want to do, uh, under a unit, you can um, give it a separate page, and then on that page, you can list things like standard, objective, agenda, and then you can have, um, what, and I think this is really the important feature of Notebook, you can have documents linked. So I can have a document that is, for instance, uh, just a chart that kids can take notes on. I can have more extensive documents linked. These are obviously all Word documents that you're taking a look at here. Um, but I can have various things linked and I don't have to go scrounging through my files to find them. And I can also link to um, all kinds of stuff uh, on here. This is mostly Word documents. I can clearly leave myself notes that I can come back to. So when you're planning for the next year, you know, if you can leave yourself a note for this year, uh, after the fact, um, you can come back and plan it. Uh, these are only Word documents, but you can certainly link all kinds of other stuff in there. So if I go to enzymes, um, I have a video linked in here that I know I, I want to watch. Um, so it's just a short video. There are also things where you can link um, PDFs, and you can actually see the image of the PDF. Uh, there's a way to annotate the PDF in it. Uh, but it's a nice way to keep everything organized. So for instance, this year I decided to do um, cell energetics as two different units rather than one and add various body systems in here. So enzymes, we go to digestive system, and then biological molecules. But let's pretend I wanted to say, mm, that's looking kind of short, let me move photosynthesis up here. So all I got to do is drag and drop it, and now photosynthesis and plants are as part of that unit. And if I want to put them back, I can just put them back right here. So it allows for a lot of um, flexibility in terms of order of stuff and inflexibility in terms of um, how you want to structure stuff. And you can also say, okay, we're done ecology. I'm just not going to look at it for the rest of the year, etc. It's really nice for going year to year on material. It's really nice for making sure you have all your stuff in order. And so in the morning when I get into school, if I need to make Xeroxes, all I got to do is open up the page. And so, okay, what are we looking at today? Well, here are all the various documents. Um, and if I want to do two different versions, obviously I have two different versions linked um, that I want to use. And like I said, I can leave myself a note or set of notes uh, to come back to next year as well as keep um, any old documents still present. So you can see like photosynthesis guided procedure real, photosynthesis guided notes um, being different uh, from one another so that if I wanted to say skip a lab one year and then come back to it, I'm not gonna lose anything in the process. The other thing I really like it for, in addition to doing individual lesson plans like this, so if you wanna do standard and objective and all of this, is unit planning for AP. So for instance, this one I use for more of my administrative stuff. Um, so you can see I can look back at a meeting that I had in 2012 and I have all my notes right here, uh, nice and orderly. And if I wanna say, I don't know, expand it, take a look at it, email folks, just copy and paste it as bullet points in an email, I can do that. Um, and so it's a nice historical document of basically every meeting I've ever sat in. Uh, the other thing that is really nice uh, about it is I just keep a list of notes for next year up here. So I, for individual lessons, I might write myself a note, but for instance, um, you can see things I have wanted to do or things I wanted to tackle in various summers. Um, so I can leave myself to do lists that obviously expand out a whole lot. Uh, and then I can, you know, once I'm done with them, take them away. Um, I generally keep a running record of stuff throughout the year that's sort of major stuff. So for instance, um, this year I'm trying to make a real effort to put all my stuff up on Google Drive, uh, reorganize some reading lists, given a new course order, things like that. Clearly I just write myself all kinds of fun notes on here and I can keep 
um, it's separate by section. So I have my bio notes, my senior project, uh, my, my research class notes. The other thing I like to do is keep a shopping and materials list. Um, so anything that I need, I just keep a running record of all year. And when we go to do supply orders, I have that already on hand. Last thing for AP. Um, for AP, I don't necessarily do out individual lesson plans per day the way I would in regular bio, just because I see them 90 minutes a day every day and sort of rather than thinking in lesson plans, it's more thinking of sets of activities because I see them so often that one just kind of feeds into the other. So for instance, if I click on evolution, I have all my stuff for evolution. I have this is just taken directly from my syllabus. I can have my enduring understandings under here. I can, um, if I so care to put in, you know, uh, essential knowledge statements or uh, learning objectives or whatever. I have my readings from Campbell and Reese. Um, nice things also make those go away. And then I have all of my documents laid out, including labs that I used to do that I might not uh, do anymore, or new stuff, or notes, or various other things. So for instance, um, looking at uh, dogs, wolves, and coyotes, because that's always a nice uh, case study, I can drag in links, I can drag in articles, I can drag in Word documents, I can put video in here, I can put all kinds of resources in here that would allow me to build a unit um, as well as just putting in notes and things like that that will allow me to basically uh, keep a running record of, of lesson plans rather than having them be static, have them be a bit more dynamic. Um, it's a great little piece of software. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It does take some getting used to. Uh, I will say, so one of the things you have to be mindful of is when you do it, um, it will create uh, a file that's attached to it with all the attachments that I have listed, which you'll start to duplicate files and it's kind of annoying at first and then you just learn to work out of this folder rather than um, of the other folders. But if you click in here, you can basically do a full text search of all of the attachments that you have here. You can look at them by date modified, you can look at them by um, just name. And so the program does have a full text search built in as well. So if you look down in multi decks, you can look by all sorts of other things. I find it's easier just to go into the attachments folder and to type in what I want because Matt has a really nice search function anyway. Um, I would say if you are struggling with how to organize your lesson plans, this is a great place to get started. It is well worth the money that I paid for it once about, oh no, I paid for it again this year because I, I, my computer kind of broke. Um, but I've paid $40 for it over the past eight years, um, and it is money for sure well spent. Uh, if you have any questions about it, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I really love the software. and Obviously, they're not paying me to talk about loving the software, uh, but I'm happy to give you any sort of tips and tricks that I've learned in, doing, in using it over the years. Hope this was helpful.